Hi everyone, what I'm going to run through today and over the next two to three videos, which is a series, is how to create a kitchen set out, draft it up and send it through to production. So you can apply this to other um, uh, joinery set outs also. And I'd like to show you how flexibility and the power of top solid that would be available to you. So easy, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a template. So we've got volumes here for our kitchens and so on. What we've also got here is dimensions that I've created. So how do you get all those parametrics and dimensions? Well, you can go to a three here on the left hand side and just click on say depth of unit, DU I've called it. So you could say that needs to be 780, enter and it expands the suit as you saw there. So I've got these parametrics um, assigned to my drawing and they're only assigned as I showed before through dimensions. So let's bring that back to 580 once again. Now let's actually fill these volumes in with items from my library. So here going to go into my library here and I'm going to say right well we've got a kick here so let's bring it in. So this is the IJS library here that I'm using. Press OK, the kick plink thickness, setback 50 mils, and so on. So that brings in my kick. Now let's bring in the other kick. So let's say it's got to be here. Now I just need to pull this kick over so it's touching the front of this one over here. And press OK. And again, just keep it to be the same setback in the same thickness board. Let's bring in our library items. So it's going to be a different part, of course. And it might be a floor unit. So let's bring in that basic carcass and it might fill this space here. And let's fill this space. So we're filling multiple volumes here at the one time. Let's fill that one. So three of them all at the one time. Carcass thickness, make that automatic, and guess what? We've also got the screw construction there as well assigned. Okay, so let's bring in a blind corner cabinet again using the uh, IJS library here. Let's bring it in, click on the height, click on this side here, press OK, and you know, the depth of my unit might be just whatever the depth of my parametric is. So just use the parametric. You've done the work already. Let the software now do the rest of the work for you. Let's bring in a tall unit. Other part. So here we might say floor unit, wall unit, tall unit. Here we go. Just a basic tall unit. Just it's got a full top, of course. Carcass thickness 16 mils once again. It's got edge banding already assigned as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's bring in a wall unit. Finish off the drawing to a certain degree. You know, we need to put doors and so on on the parts as well. Of course, you could bring in these units already ready made with doors and adjustable shelves if you wanted to. But I just want to show you this method as well. Now, let's bring in a few doors. Go to my door systems here, might say um, a double door. And what you can do is you can pick once again multiple units. Click on that, we'll say click on that, and we'll just pick the bottom of this once again as well. Maybe even my wall unit. Press OK. Take a look at this. You know, what are my gaps? I'm just right clicking. Let my gaps go there. And now it's brought in all the relevant doors. And of course, as you can see here on my wall unit, I've got two hinges. My base unit, so my floor units, I've got two hinges. But of course, my tall unit, because it's a bigger joint, you could say, or it's a, it's a bigger unit, then you've got how many? Six hinges here. Now what about end panels? Um, if you don't have any in your library, you can of course draw them into your drawing here. 
So how do we do that? We might just pick this here. Might say right well we need it running from the very bottom right to the top. There you go, that's my end panel. What about at this end over here? We might do the same same thing here. So let's just rotate that. Take a good look at it. Pick my drawing. And once again we'll just pick the top there. Perfect. Now let's create our bench shot. So I've got that sketch made now. I'm just going to make sure that I'm picking the right face. I want my bench shop to work off of. And what thickness? Maybe three mils. I typed in there. I should have said thirty-three mils. Enter. And there's my bench top. And it's running flush with my end panel there. Now maybe another change that I might need to make, of course, that I should have made at the beginning was this unit has to come in 18 mils because we also need an end panel running from kicker right to the top of my tall unit. So let's do that now. Let's make that change. So click on my unit. Let's bring in, say for instance, 18 mils, whatever T is, the thickness. And now it's going to pull it back in. And let's just press OK. Now, we've got to create another, say for instance, um, an end panel here. So, let's just turn on our invisible lines here. And let's just click on this here. And let's bring it up to the very top of this panel. So there we have it. That's our kitchen created. And now we can make modifications to this using our parametrics. So here on our tree on our left hand side you might remember all the parametrics so let's just you let the software do the work and list it for you. So here we can say the depth of my units need to increase from 580 to say 680. Bit of a difference here. And there's my change. You can even see the change made in the dimensions here itself. Okay. What about if you needed to make the change to uh, the plinth height, say from 100 to 200? As you can see, it's stretchy in it to suit. What about the overall height of my tall unit from 2000 maybe to 2200? Enter. There's my change made. Now, as you can see, it's increased from 6 inches to 7. Okay, so it modifies the machining to suit also. What about my height of my base units? So from 780 to 900. Again, it's increased to suit. We can also, of course, don't forget, if you want to change the two-door unit to, say, um, uh, left hand unit you can do so if you want to make the changes to all the other units also you can modify it to suit you can click on this unit you can interchange it with a drawer okay let's just say our drawer here click OK and let's bring in that drawer as you can see it even imports the hardware. No, we don't want to modify the other units, but what we do want to do is we want to change that from a one drawer to a three drawer. You can have cutouts on your top for sinks and so on. So let's create a cutout. Let's look on our plan view here. Where do we want to cut out? Maybe this is our sink unit here. So let's create a rectangle or shape here from here to here and let's alter dimension it. Now remember what are your auto dimensions or what are the dimensions in general in top solid? They're parametrics. Okay, so here I can press OK, I can go to my specific wood functions here in top solid. I can click on this top here, click on my cutout, press OK, and there's my cutout for my sink. Of course, you can assign dimensions to it as well. And if we just turn on my invisible edges, 
and if I clicked on this dimension here and said actually look that needs to be 450 there you have it actually this needs to be 400 so it in increases the size of that cutout what about if you wanted just to bring in say I know cable management hole here you wouldn't really need it but um, this is just a showcase for you what you can actually do with hardware so I can say kill management we can click on say the top of this unit here stop that stop automatic and we've got cut out there as well for that a piece of hardware so we'll just zoom out of this now so there you have it how to quickly and easily create a kitchen setup in top solid wood but of course also make revisions and make some major changes to your drawing afterwards and modify dimensions because what are dimensions they're parametrics stay tuned next week we will create drafting for this particular setup and um, the following week we will then send you to production so give us a call if this is uh, relevant to you which i'm sure it is um, our number is as follows